How's it going, friends? Luigi Nader here, and time for another Saturday Stuff. Today, we are going to be doing something a little bit different than usual. Uh, two weeks ago for the last Notcast, I uploaded a video called How Draw Banjo Good, um, which was just a joke little thing that I thought up in the moment and went ahead and speed recorded. Uh, but a lot of people commented and saying, hey, I'd actually like to learn how to draw banjo. So that's what we're going to do here today, friends. So without further ado, let's get to it. As you can see here, I have Photoshop pulled up. Photoshop is my preferred thing to draw in, but you can obviously, you know, replicate this process and just about anything else. One important thing that's also to note, I can draw banjo not from reference. I could not always draw banjo not from reference, and as proof, I have my reference folder. I have reference folders for a bunch of characters that I like to draw, but banjos is one of the more fleshed out ones, and you can see I have it from all ridiculous angles, including the front-facing one that everybody likes to make fun of. I have it from different dynamic poses. I have stuff that's just the head for different expressions. You can see you have one here where his mouth is open a little bit, and it's from kind of a top-down angle. You have this one where his mouth is closed, and then this one from almost the same angle where his mouth is open a little bit again. It's important to have reference images, especially when you're first learning how to draw a character. Don't be ashamed to use references, because you know who uses references? Every single professional artist everywhere that I've ever spoken to and ever met. They may not be, you know, like, I don't have to use a reference for Banjo every time I draw him now, but absolutely I did when I first started drawing. I wouldn't be able to draw Banjo like I can now if I hadn't used references in the first place, right? So, that's enough talking for me. Let's get to actual Banjo. So to start with Banjo, just like with most characters, you're going to start out not with your magnifying glass, you're going to start out and you're just going to draw a good circle, right? Boom, there we go. Someone somewhere out there can draw a better circle than that, and if you could, take a picture of it and post the link in the comments below and I might click on it and say, good circle, man. Um, I'll do a whole video of just saying good circle, man, to your circles. Uh, I draw the directional line so I can see which way he's facing, and I draw a good eye line so I can get an idea for the angle of it. Because, like, you know, this right here is a different angle, a much different angle from, say, like, that. That would be a different angle from that where you can't even see it because he's either looking straight up or straight down etc 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 um, now what I like to do for this is I'll draw the mask line first so I know that his nose is gonna go there and I know that his mouth is gonna come to about right there right and then you could just fill in the gaps you can maybe see a little edge of the cheek over there depending on how you want to do it next on what I'll usually draw is I will draw the nose which Banjo's got a big old nose and it's just boom right there nothing much to it next you have to remember that the front of banjo's snout isn't like an immediate out like that because that's what snouts do snouts go out to the corners like how we have our mouths well a bird's beak so if we were drawing kazooie would pretty immediately go like that back out banjo has a flat part at the front of his snout first right so it's see it i don't know i've never drawn one of these before so i'm trying my best but you can see it'd be a little flat right there at the front right so we have to draw, I draw this center line to remind myself of that right there. Um, and then you can draw the edge of the cheek going, or the edge of the muzzle, the edge of the snout going back up. Then you're going to curl this around. This is going to wind up becoming his mouth. And so you're going to curl it right up into a smile because he's a happy banjo, at least for this one. Uh, then you can draw the chin coming down around under. Remember that when you think of the chin, don't think of it as being just this curve that just happens to go under there because that's where it goes. You have to think about things 3D. You have to think about how things would be if they were actually in front of you. So if banjo is actually here, he would have a jaw that's like our jaw where it it's, you know, one is over here, but you can't necessarily see it right now, but you can follow the path around. So when you draw this jaw, what I like to usually do is I like to usually think, okay, well, it would come around and connect right about over there. And that can sometimes help you get just the right spot to make it look just right. I'm kind of a perfectionist when I draw stuff, which is why I didn't draw for a while. Do not recommend it. Um, and so I like to think about things like that. Uh, next, Banjo's nose rests on a little bit of a hill, and so you can see just the edge of that hill right here, which is, if you go look at the 3D models a lot, you'll see the little line that I'm talking about. Next, we'll draw the eyes. Rareware characters are known for their big eyes, so we're gonna draw Banjo with some big old peepers right here, baby. Boom, and boom. Now, one thing that I think about when I draw Banjo is that his eyes, you know, pop out a little bit, right? So, for the faraway eye, the cheek might cover, or the, the bridge of the nose might cover it, it might not, depending on the angle. Usually, I think it would, but this eye, you would be able to see over the bridge, and we can do more details of that when we're talking about outlining and stuff like that, right? Then we'll come back and do the pupils. I know it'll look a little bit creepy for right now, but we're gonna leave the pupils gone for now. Um, next, we're gonna go ahead and draw his hair. Banjo just has really easy, flippy dip hair coming right off the top, right there, bing, bang, boom. Nice and simple, but he still looks a little funny because he doesn't have any ears. So, Banjo has very simple, like you've seen bears before, rounded ears, and it's got a little coloration inside, 
just like that. Now, Banjo and Kazooie don't have eyebrows. They are usually drawn with eyelids, and so if you want, you can come in and do like a little eyelid like that. I'm not going to. I like to have the big expressive eyes. I think it reflects the N64, that, that big uh, rareware style eye really well. And so I like to keep it, you know, no eyelids, just open unless I'm doing a specific mood. Um, but what you can do is you can draw uh, the, the, the top of where the brow would be, like where that skull crests, the cranium above the eye crests right there. And so you can draw the line about where that would be. You can even see that over here, because think about it, a skull will dip, right, you can see it on this one, will dip in a little bit right there. So you can think about that happening behind this big bulging eye, and so you can draw that coming out a little bit right there, and even that right there makes it appear just a little bit more, if that makes sense. Uh, and so you can come over here, you can follow the line of it, and you can, if you want, draw the little crest of it right there, and it gives the inclination of the eyebrow without having the actual eyebrow. Because trying to draw Banjo with eyebrows doesn't work, at least the way I like to think about it. Um, I've seen people online about the closest you can get is like just flat lines. That's fine because that, you know, symbolizes the line of the crest. Um, I usually don't draw the lines, but I just wanted to put that out there. That's an option for you guys to do. Next, we'll draw the, the base of the neck. And you know, Banjo always looks like he's got a big girthy neck. Um, never really understood why people said that Banjo was fat, by the way. I always kind of saw, saw him as, like, a little bit of fat, but with a muscular build underneath kind of deal. Right? Now we can go back in and we can draw the pupils now that we're at the end. And we'll just come in here and we'll draw a circle, smaller circle, on both of them. And then we'll surround that circle with a bigger circle. Because Banjo has some bright blue eyes. It will usually almost completely fill the left eye. Um, that threw me off for a while. Is I always thought, oh, well, it has to have some white space. No, it doesn't. I promise you do not have to have that white space, all right? I'm white enough for that to f make up for that white space. Haha, -ha, that's a funny joke. Like and subscribe. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, that's that's the basic process for when I draw Banjo. You can come in here and you can draw like the little outline of his nostrils, and you can draw the other one curling around the other side if you want. Again, eyebrows optional. You don't have to have them. You can have them. Stuff like that. And that's really the basic of it. You know, I can do another video if y'all want to learn how to do bodies. I know the last one really just joked about the head. Um, if y'all want to do another one, you get uh, another one where I go more in depth about Banjo's body. You can leave a comment down below and I'll respond to it and I'll make a video of it if y'all really want it. But then once you know these basic steps for drawing Banjo, let me make a new tab in here. You can really, you know, push the limits of what you can do with the character. And this that's true for all artists. Like, you don't have to meticulously go through step by step. It doesn't have to look super duper fancy each time. And, and you know, you can put your own little spin on it. This is not the only way to draw Banjo, obviously. I'm sure that the developers of the game had their own little ways for drawing Banjo that I'm completely differing from. I'm sure at least one developer from the game would look at the way that I've drawn Banjo now and say, that's not right. You didn't draw the right Banjo. He didn't have the, the right amount of, I don't know, lip. <laughs> Stuff, I don't know what they did. I, I didn't work at Rare. I would love to work at Rare or whoever is developing a Banjo Kazooie game. Just putting it out there, guys. Um, but yeah, you can really push it. You can really do some, some crazy wacky stuff. Banjo and Kazooie are very wacky characters, which is that's, that's part of why I like them so much in Smash, is because they have that wackiness still a part of them. Um, with all the, like, you know, the, even from their announcement trailer, the cartoon sound effects that accompanied them with that kind of stuff, and then, like, you can come in here and you can draw the eyebrows going up if you want, the little crest, move it around just like you would an eyebrow. The, the important thing, when I say an eyebrow doesn't look right, I mean, like, if I wanted to do, like, an eyebrow like that, I don't know, it just looks weird on Banjo to me. It kind of looks like Tigger, almost, like Tigger's eyebrows, and it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't gel, gel well for me in my eyes. Um... But yeah, once you study Banjo, once you study any character really, it's not just Banjo, you can start pushing the limits of what you can do with them. Um, you can start drawing them from funkier angles. I can go ahead and draw him real quick here from a, a side angle, where he's maybe looking up at something, he sees something up there. When we can have him make it a, a dumb face, like he's just going like that. That's one of my favorite faces to draw characters as. I've drawn at least one thumbnail has that uh, with me and my buddies from the podcast, right? So yeah. That's, that's, that's the basics of drawing Banjo. I don't think I can really go into it anymore. I can sit here drawing Banjo all day. I love drawing Banjo. He's one of my favorites. Uh, but yeah, that's the basics of drawing Banjo. So I hope that that helped. I hope that that placated a few of y'all who messaged me or commented on Reddit or commented on YouTube and were like, you didn't actually teach me how to draw Banjo. You're a phony, a big fat phony. Well, I'm not now. I've shown you how to draw Banjo to the best of my ability. Um, if you want to see me draw something else, let me know in the comments. If you want to see me draw more Banjo, let me know in the comments. If you want me 
needed to draw more Banjo, like more of Banjo. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you just want to say hi, say it in the comments. Uh, I think that's about it for this one. Uh, thanks for sticking around. I hope you liked it. Hit subscribe, share with whoever you might want to know how to them to draw Banjo. Those were words. And without further ado, Luigi Nader out. See you later, friends. Sub to my Discord, cause my Discord's really great. The bodies of other and her two children had gone missing from the home. The police questioned the family members, but they have claimed not to have seen them. Several days later, the police received a call from the home. They found one of the missing children inside a box in the freezer. Oh, the other child was found inside a toy chest. Oh, the other one was found as a charred corpse. Oh, in the fireplace. Oh, that, oh, that was the mother. That, we just saw the mother. It's big brain time.